Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So those of you that follow the channel will know that I'm a big fan of vitamin D. So I was really pleased to see yet another study come out to show how this time vitamin D was used to help people who had already been diagnosed with depression. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study out of the University of Eastern Finland has got to offer. This is a review of a study out of the University of East Finland that was penned by David Neild, showing the daily doses of vitamin D well above the current governmental recommendations of 600 international units per day did have a positive effect on people who had already been diagnosed with depression. And there's links in the description below to the study and the articles used to put this presentation together. Our bodies need the right amount of vitamin D to function as normal, both physically and mentally. And there's a growing amount of evidence linking a lack of vitamin D with depression. Vitamin D can have an impact on as many as 2,000 different genes within our body and has a direct role on far more aspects of health than many people might realize. With late life depression having a knock-on effect on the quality of life, how soon people go into residential care and even the chance of an early death, boosting vitamin D levels could offer new opportunities for tackling these problems in older people. Vitamin D supplements are not difficult to come by. They are relatively cheap and are now considered safe to take. So much so that researchers are now calling for updated guidelines on recommended vitamin D intake. Guidelines that could have a real impact on the older population. This new study, a new meta-analysis of 41 previous studies, suggests that taking vitamin D supplements can relieve depressive symptoms in people already diagnosed with depression, opening up a potential alternative option for treatment. As well as controlling levels of calcium and phosphate in the body, it's thought that vitamin D helps to regulate various functions in the central nervous system. Earlier research in animals suggested it could even contribute to the control of chemical balances in the brain which may explain the association between vitamin D and mental health. So vitamin D is not really a vitamin. Vitamins are special nutrients that the body needs but cannot make. So they are obtained through what we eat or through supplementation. Because our bodies can make vitamin D in our skin when it is exposed to sunlight, vitamin D is actually considered a hormone. Vitamin D is available in two forms, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. The main difference between these is really just the source. Vitamin D3 is created from animal products and is the closest to that which is naturally made by our bodies through exposure to sunlight. Because of this familiarity, most doctors and nutritionists recommend supplementing with vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 is manufactured from plants and fungi and is often the type that's included in fortified milk, bread and cereals and is obviously the version that is favoured by vegans. Tumas Mikola, doctoral researcher and lead author of the study, working out of the University of East Finland said, these findings will encourage new, high-level clinical trials in patients with depression in order to shed more light on the possible role of vitamin D supplementation in the treatment of depression. The new meta-analysis covered a total of 53,235 study participants from 41 separate studies, including those with and without depression, people taking vitamin D supplements and people taking placebos and individuals with a variety of physical conditions. While the doses used varied, the typical vitamin D supplement dose was between 50 and 100 micrograms per day. That's around 2,000 to 4,000 international units. In the participants with depression, vitamin D supplements were shown to be more effective than placebos at alleviating depressive symptoms. Vitamin D supplements seem to be most effective in shorter bursts, under 12 weeks. This is what the researchers reported. However, in healthy individuals, it was the placebos that had a slightly greater impact on depressive symptoms. 
the researchers wrote in their paper, our results suggest that vitamin D supplementation has beneficial effects in both individuals with major depressive disorders as well as in those with milder, clinically significant depressive symptoms. With depression now recognized as being the lead cause of disability worldwide, affecting over 280 million of us every year, and antidepressants not being effective for everyone, more treatment options need to be explored quite urgently. However, the data we have so far isn't enough to prove that low vitamin D levels actually cause depression or that supplements are an effective treatment. Even though this new meta-analysis shows a clear link, previous research hasn't been quite so conclusive. The lead author closed by saying, Despite the broad scope of this meta-analysis, the certainty of evidence remains low due to the heterogeneity of the population studied and the due to the risk of bias associated with a large number of studies. When talking about vitamin D as a supplement, vitamin K must also be mentioned. There are two main forms of vitamin K. Vitamin K1, which is found in plant foods such as leafy greens, and vitamin K2, which is found in some animal products and fermented foods. Vitamin K2 can further be divided into several different subtypes, the most important being MK4 and MK7. One of vitamin K2's most important functions is to regulate calcium deposition. In other words, it promotes the calcification of our bones and our teeth and prevents the calcification of our soft tissues, such as blood vessels, kidneys, and our heart. So if you want to, where can you buy vitamin D3 and vitamin K2? At present, ProHealth Longevity doesn't sell vitamin D3 and K2 as a combined product. So I'm only going to look at donutage.org and Renew by Science. Renew by Science will sell you 60 liposomal liquid doses of 2,500 international units of vitamin D3, along with 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 for $22.95. Do Not Age Org will sell you 60 doses of 5,000 international units of vitamin D3, along with 120 micrograms of vitamin K2 for $18. Add to that the 10% My Enemy discount code and those prices will drop. For Renew by Science, they go down to $20.66. And for Do Not Age Org, you're only going to pay $16.20. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I've made some notes. Uh, unfortunately, vitamin D does get sidelined quite a lot because people do believe it is only a vitamin and not a hormone. As men like myself tend to get older, their testosterone levels, testosterone is a hormone, start to drop. They quickly opt for TRT to bring their testosterone levels up. However, they're quite happy to go or ignorantly go decades not knowing that their vitamin D levels are either deficient or insufficient. If like me, you're getting older and you need to check your vitamin D levels, please take a blood test, see what your vitamin D levels are, consult with a medical professional to find out if you do need a supplement and then take their advice on what size of supplement you need to take to get your vitamin D levels back up.